welcome in. Thanks for clicking on play. So I just recently returned home from the Atlanta, Georgia area. And although it wasn't quite planned, I was able to manage a little time to get down to Juliet, Georgia and visit the Whistle Stop Cafe from Fried Green Tomatoes. It's kind of a quick trip, a quick stop at the Whistle Stop. <laughs> so I wasn't very prepared and I forgot to record an opening. So here I am back at home just relaxing with the dogs and um, just wanted to say, um, hope you enjoy this video. It's just kind of a quick impromptu visit to the cafe and a little stroll up and down the street there with some of the shops and some of the other things that there are to see. It's about an hour and a half, maybe south uh, east of Atlanta, if you're ever in the Atlanta area. It's a fun little place to go for a day trip. The drive down there was quite lovely through the Georgia countryside, so I definitely do recommend it. Um, so again, I hope you enjoy this little impromptu video, and I just wanted to record this little opening, so, and away we go! <laughs> it's pretty cool. Whoa. Standing out in front of the famous Whistle Stop Cafe from Fried Green Tomatoes out here in Juliet, uh, Georgia. It's about an hour's wait to eat, but there's lots to see here. <laughs> uh, lots of uh, Fried Green Tomatoes merchandise. We're just gonna have a look around while we're waiting for our table. Maybe gonna try some fried green tomatoes, who knows? This building right here was the grocery store in the movie, but today it's a gift shop selling tons of fried green tomatoes souvenirs. Antique shops. This shop says, Welcome to Juliet. Established 1882. Looks like we got some fried green tomatoes merchandise. Live fearless. I got fried, fried green tomatoes. <laughs> this is cool. This movie has probably done a lot for this little town. Mm. Lots of merchandise. Friendly dogs. This is pretty cool. You definitely feel like you just walked onto a movie set over here. This place is called Ruth and Iggy's place right there. Ruth and Izzy's, Izzy's place has some interesting paintings out here. Very cool. Whew. Ruth and Izzy's place. <laughs> Whistle Stop Cafe gift shop. Aw, oh, somebody does want to be in the car today. Apparently this was made to be the bank in the movie. It was built to be the bank. From what I recall reading, this isn't even, yeah, this isn't even brick. It's like, I don't know, vinyl or something. I guess the entrance is down there. For the Whistle Stop Cafe gift shop. The Whistle Stop Cafe. Get fried. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Get fried. And across the street there is a train depot, which has even more t-shirts and souvenirs. Oh my gosh, it's like <laughs> this movie just made a ton of commerce for this town. Let's go check this out.
I like this one. the movie playing on loop here. I just heard Buddy get killed again. <laughs> Even duct tape can't fake stupidity. I like that. So the man inside just confirmed this building here, um, they wanted a bank and a drugstore for the movie. So they made it for the film and it's fake. And then when the movie was done, they turned it into usable space. But all these other buildings around here in this little town on this little street were built in 1882 and they're still here. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna check them all out. Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Juliet substation. So since all of these are original buildings from 1882, I have to assume that that is the original. Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Courthouse. Kinda doubt you can go inside. Pretty sure it's gonna be locked, but we'll check. Yeah, it's locked. Here we have the Opry House, again, from 1882. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. With all the cars in the street, I can't really get a shot of it without a car, but that is pretty cool. This little house called the cutest little gift shop ever. Look at that, there's a honeycomb store next door in honor of Iggy and her habits to just stick her arms in a bee's nest to get honey. Let's go check it out. I'm loving some of the t-shirts I'm seeing here. This one's kind of funny. <laughs> some of y'all's cornbread ain't done in the middle. <laughs> That's like a southern version of uh, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I'm older and I have more insurance from the movie. Nice. I wish you guys could smell this soap section. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is the cutest little gift shop ever. <laughs> see it way down there at the end of the road. It's making a racket. The green frog. <laughs> it's a cute little building. Not sure what this is. Ken Kennington's. Candy, vinyl albums, books, and things. <sighs> Georgia grown candy, turtles, praline and pecans. Oh my goodness. I do not need to be tempted. Well, this is property of the Juliet Police Department. Oh my gosh, there's a bee there. <laughs> hmm. That's a big bee. Dang. Must be from uh, Iggy's. Uh, he's out for revenge against Iggy. <laughs> anyway, Juliet Police Department. Oh, this is cute. Let me see. 
get my shadow out of it. <laughs> it's a little grave marking, here lies Buddy's arm, 1929 to 1936. So long, old pal. <laughs> Very cute, from the film. Here lies Buddy's arm. Very darling. Sorry about my shadow. Down here we have the Juliet Opry Land. I guess they can put on some performances down there. Some little benches. <laughs> Very cute. All right, we gotta go check out the Whistle Stop Train Depot. My buddy's arm. I'm glad I could pay my respects. Oh, it looks like the sun went down. Oh, you can still see my shadow, but that's a little better. Very cool. The wind is picking up, but this is the Whistle Stop Trading Post. Probably more t-shirts, but other things as well. It says something about home decor. Oh, if I find anything, I can't really bring it home on a plane, so I guess I'm safe going in. Let's go check this out. starting to clear out so you can get a better shot of the uh, Opry house over there. Let's see if uh, how my weight is looking for the restaurant. And there's our fake bank. <laughs> well, I made it in. I actually got seated. So I'm actually going to be able to have some fried Wait, green tomatoes. Bread, and the whistle's so cute. <laughs> I'm excited. Here's a good look at the menu for you. Uh, the, the waitress lady here is working very hard. Uh, so the first thing on the appetizers list is fried green tomatoes. So of course, we are going to give it a try. Well, here they are. Fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe in Juliet, Georgia. <laughs> I'm actually doing this. All righty, here we go. So, cut it up, and it really is a fried green tomato. No exaggeration. <laughs> I'm making a mess though. All right, first bite, here we go. Taste test. When you just said, guess what it was? Okay, I wasn't sure. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> now I get it. I get it. Yummy. I absolutely cannot believe I'm sitting here at the Whistle Stop Cafe having fried green tomatoes. This is definitely how many years ago and how many times since. And, um, they do serve them piping hot, just like they say. Maybe you could see the steam coming off, I don't know. So good. So good. Are they smaller than that? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take you on a little tour. It was very loud in there, so I'm doing a voiceover. Here we saw Iggy having to defend how they treat the African Americans, because this was deep in Alabama at a time when the KKK was pretty prevalent. Over here we saw a lot of activity take place. We saw this shot of the whole restaurant from a little bit on high, and the focal point was that cashier counter. That's where the two police officers showed up after Frank's disappearance, saying they were investigating his disappearance, which set some things into action. Over here is the booth where one of those detectives sat and ate <laughs> while he was looking for Frank. He didn't realize 
The answer was right under his nose. Also, as Iggy came out and brought him about his third plate of barbecue, he asked her to sit and he told her, I know what's going on with you, girly girl, and told her that he was onto her and that Frank hadn't turned up dead yet, but if he did, when he did, she was suspect number one. Continuing on, you'll see the window leading to the kitchen on the right. We do see Sipsy and Iggy having a conversation there right before Iggy helps the alcoholic man who can't even hold his food. Later, there's a food fight that breaks out in the kitchen after Ruth insults Iggy's attempt at trying to make fried green tomatoes. That was a pretty memorable scene. And of course, there were other scenes filmed in the kitchen as well. Not too much happened over on this side of the restaurant in the film. So I'm just going to let you take a look at it. As you'll see, there is a lot of memorabilia everywhere about the movie. Lots of photos, there's this autograph poster and more photographs surrounding with a really nice seat you can sit on and have your photo taken on inside the Whistle Stop Cafe. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Very, very cool. Movie history right here. No. This brings us back to the popular booth where the detective was eating the person he was looking for. But another scene takes place here where Ruth is trying to get Iggy to confess if she had anything to do with Frank's disappearance and wondering if she is holding her back. Speaking of Frank, this is also the area where Frank busts out from behind that door with a rifle in hand and he knocks out Sipsy as he's trying to get his baby back. As we go out the front door, we arrive at the beautiful front porch where Ruth was teaching the local children, giving them a little bit of schooling. Later, Smokey returns and he goes inside the cafe and is warmly greeted. Unfortunately, the reunion is short-lived as the train is screeching indicating something else has happened to another local. As we soon find out, it's Buddy Jr. who was injured by the train and ends up losing his arm and has a little funeral for his arm a little bit later. We do see the porch every time Ruth is schooling the locals and we see it every time we see the famous fried green tomatoes sign. Now, no trip to the whistle stop would be complete without going in the back checking out the barbecue area. <laughs> this is where the cooking was done, the barbecue was done for the whistle stop. And on one particular occasion, eh, let's just say there was a special, a special cut of meat cooked up over here. <laughs> The secret was in the sauce. What a perfect fitting way to wrap up that storyline with that uh, <laughs> character. Right here. This is where that was done. And I know when he was cooking up that uh, meat that day, there was a little girl kind of looking on and watching him. I'm not sure if she was over there or another area. It seemed like she was sitting on a step, if I recall. Yeah, this is it. Memorial marker, if you will. <laughs> Here lies Frank Bennett. The secret was in the sauce. Uh, I think it just says, the secret was in the sauce. And here? 
was in the sauce. And here, I guess the secret was here. That's what they mean. Well, I guess if there was anything left of him, <laughs> this is where it went. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. There's that grill from the other side. Another look at it. Right next to this open area. With the Juliet Opryland stage. Looks like there's a uh, smoker there for the barbecue. <laughs> I guess that's where Frank was smoked. Cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if they do any events out here, but I think they should. Okay, gotta work my way back to my cover. Cars have cleaned out. Whistle stop is closed. Oh, check this out. These old signs. Very cool. And now you also see this building on the left in the film, and I believe there was another building next to it that is no longer there. But this is still here. Kind of a backdrop building. I know the train depot is gone. That was in the movie. But uh, again, this is still here. to drive by the church from the movie. Which has had some modifications. It's just up the road from the whistle stop. Maybe a mile. Pretty. Now I had read that they actually had the grave, a gravestone there for Ruth. Uh, but uh, the local told me that they got rid of it because it was um, constantly being vandalized. So apparently it's not there anymore. But the church is, and it's still beautiful. Just a little bonus for those of you that have hung in there this far. This is the Threadgood Residence. It's actually located in Sonoya, Georgia, about an hour and a half west of Juliet. And these, those are the railroad tracks on which Buddy has his unfortunate and untimely accident. All right, now the other one wants in the shot. <laughs> oh, 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I should have said on that last clip through the um, church and the cemetery, that's actually where Ruth and Buddy's graves were originally. And they did keep the tombstones there for quite some time, but you know, film relics, people want to come and, and mess around with them, vandalize them, or maybe even try to steal them. So they were removed sadly, and they're no, long, no longer there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick little stop at the whistle stop and the little tour of that little street there in Juliet, Georgia. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, maybe a subscribe, and maybe you'll see some more videos like this coming your way. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.